Welcome back to Insight. Today we're diving into one of the most intriguing chapters of automotive history. The Charles Pogue Carburetor. You may have heard whispers about this mysterious device that promised extraordinary fuel efficiency, but today we're separating fact from fiction. Imagine a world where your car gets 200 miles per gallon. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, back in the 1930s, a Canadian inventor named Charles Nelson Pogue claimed to have achieved just that with his revolutionary carburetor design. His invention sparked both excitement and skepticism, and the story has only grown more fascinating over the years. The man behind the myth. Charles Pogue wasn't just any inventor, he was a mechanical genius with a knack for innovation. Born in 1897 in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Pogue spent years tinkering with engines and fuel systems. By the early 1930s, he had developed a carburetor that he claimed could vaporize gasoline so efficiently that engines could run on a fraction of the fuel typically required. The technology. So what made the Pogue carburetor so special? The secret was in the vaporization process. Traditional carburetors mix liquid gasoline with air to create a combustible mixture. Pogge's design took this a step further by heating the fuel to a vapor before it entered the combustion chamber. This vaporized fuel was said to burn more completely and efficiently, drastically reducing fuel consumption. Here's a breakdown of how it worked. 1. Fuel Vaporization Pogge's carburetor included a heated chamber where gasoline was transformed into vapor. 2. Air Mixing the vaporized fuel was then mixed with air in precise ratios. 3. Improved combustion. The resulting mixture burned more completely, enhancing fuel efficiency and reducing waste. The claims and demonstration. Pogus claims were bold. He demonstrated his carburetor on a 1935 Ford, reportedly achieving up to 200 miles per gallon Skeptics were invited to witness these tests, and while some left convinced, others remained doubtful. In 1936, Pogue secured patents for his design, and for a brief moment it seemed like the automotive world was on the brink of a fuel revolution. But then, things took a mysterious turn. The controversy. Despite the initial excitement, the Pogue carburetor never made it to mass production. Various theories emerged to explain this. Some suggest that oil companies and automobile manufacturers, fearing a threat to their profits, conspired to suppress the invention. Others believe the technology simply didn't work as well as claimed under real-world driving conditions. Adding to the mystery, Hogue himself eventually shifted his focus away from the carburetor and details about his later years and activities remain scarce. This has only fueled the legend and speculation surrounding his invention. Modern Analysis Fast forward to today, and the Pogue carburetor remains a topic of debate among automotive enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists alike. Modern engineers have revisited Pogue's patents and prototypes, often finding that while the concept was innovative, achieving the claimed efficiency consistently in everyday conditions is challenging. However, the principles behind the Pogue carburetor have influenced modern fuel systems. Today's fuel injection and vaporization technologies owe a nod to pioneers like Pope, who dared to think outside the box. This conclusion. So, was the Charles Pope carburetor a case of unrealized potential, or just another automotive myth? The truth likely lies somewhere in between. While it may not have delivered on all its promises, it undoubtedly pushed the boundaries of automotive innovation and inspired future advancements in fuel efficiency. Hey everyone, I'm on a journey to reach 1,000 subscribers and I need your help to get there. If you enjoy my content, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Your support means the world to me. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below and let's chat. Thank you so much for being part of this community. Until next time, peace.